So, I am a twin. I have a fraternal twin sister. Her name is Jenny. You guys have seen her in some vlogs and actually heard her in some of my older RuneScape videos. But anyway, today I'm going to be talking to all of you about how it is to be a twin and uh, just some funny stories. So, let's get right into it. Sit back and relax and uh, watch me get angry at a camera. So, I was born in July of 1995. Yes, me and my twin sister Jenny were both 20 years old and she is the much more attractive version of me. Is it weird that I just called my sister? She is the much prettier version of... That's a bet. She's a much prettier version of me. She's not attractive because that'd be weird. <laughs> Incest is wrong. Anyway, so growing up, we didn't really see ourselves as different because we didn't really, you know, have an idea um, of what fraternal twins really were. Going to school, we were a brother and sister. So just like everyone else, we thought, okay, everyone else must have brothers and sisters. They're just older or younger. We don't really know the significance of having twins. I don't think we really put a grasp on the idea that our mother had us both within four minutes of each other. I'm four minutes older. As you guys can all tell, I'm freaking more mature. So I'll probably be showing you guys pictures of me and Jenny throughout this video just to, you know, give you guys, you creepy guys out there some, you know, reference points of how pretty my sister is. If you say anything about her, I can't stop you. <laughs> so just say whatever you want to say, but please keep it PG-13 to R-rated. Anyway, so throughout grade school, elementary school, middle school, there was really no significance but time besides the, you know, the average time where some people would be like, oh my gosh, you guys are twins? And really, we had no real reaction to it. It was kind of just, yeah, we're twins. Uh, she's my sister. I'm her brother you know no big deal then growing up older middle school high school we definitely began to realize the advantages of, of having a twin because in social certain social events such as those middle school dances you had to go through weddings also you know sadly funerals as well um, you always had those that companion with you me having a twin sister that is Jenny I always had someone to go to all these events with um, if it didn't work out to going out with my friends or someone else so it was pretty awesome to always have her there and it still is to this day freaking awesome <coughs> I would say the very the very first advantage I noticed actually did happen in elementary school or middle school when <laughs> these are this is the era where sleepovers were the thing. I mean everyone was sleeping over at everyone else's house. It was crazy. I don't know if middle schoolers still do this, but I think sleepovers were by far the most popular thing ever. Like, yo, Jimmy, you sleeping over at Ben's house? Yo, Mitch, I'll be at your house on Saturday. You come to my house on Friday, then we'll be back at your house Sunday morning, okay? Sound good? Sound good. If I was a parent, I would be so annoyed by this. Like, hey, can my kids sleep in my own house tonight and your kids sleep in your own house? Like, can that be a thing? And the other parent's like, yeah, seriously, your kids have been in my house for a week straight. Get him out of here. If I was a parent, you know, when I am a parent, no sleepovers ever. But like I was saying, this is the era where girls were having sleepovers in like tens, you know? So Jenny would have all of her friends over and, I, you know, back in the day, I'm not trying to be a pervert, guys. When I was a middle schooler, all these middle school girls were coming over to my place and I was like, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? <coughs> <clears throat> and in reality, I'd probably just hide in my room, play video games, and just blast music so they wouldn't come up. And then when they came up and actually walked by my room, I'd pretend like I was asleep or something so that I would avoid them. And then in reality as well, we'd probably all be asleep by 9 or 10 o'clock. We'd wake up the next morning and the parents would come at like 8 o'clock sharp, and they'd all be out of the house before I was even up and mobile. So... That was probably what happened in realistic, you know, terms. But in my mind, it was like, yo, I'm sleeping with all these chicks and it's only like middle school. So I'm probably the coolest kid here. And then another aspect I realized was throughout middle school, Jenny was, you know, still to this day, Jenny is actually, she was pre-med. She switched to a different major. Um, she's a food and health science. She's, she's going to be really, she's, wow, she's smart. I'm not. So throughout middle school and our early years, as well as high school, I always had her to go to, uh, mainly in middle school when you had the same classes, you know, as siblings, you were taking the same classes. In high school, it kind of changes. You have different classes, different teachers. And then in college, we're at different colleges, so it doesn't apply anymore. But back in middle school, Jenny, it was a genius. She was a straight A student all the way through high school as well and still in college. Holy frick, she's smart. So whenever I was struggling with middle school math, I always had my sister that helped me out. And I can't imagine what I would do without her. I mean, honestly, there were days where I had no idea what to 2 plus 3 was or 2 times actually I was really good with, with math. Let's say for science I really struggle with science and it was really nice to have her there to cheat off her answers and then our teachers wouldn't suspect a thing because they didn't realize what was happening so I would always get these good grades and I don't think I was ever fully deserving of those middle school grades even though middle school is super easy but either way it was really awesome to have Jenny there with me and then on the, on the side every weekend she'd be having sleepovers so it's like straight A's girls in my house but but bang bang not actually bang bang that'd be I didn't even know what that was in middle school. So then high school came, and for the first time in our lives, we kind of began to separate. We were in separate classes. I don't think, besides one class, I think throughout our four years of high school, me and Jenny had one class together. So as you can imagine, going to the same school throughout high school, 
college was a huge, huge change for us. But throughout high school, it was pretty crazy because I would only ever see Jenny at cross country and track practice. We both were four-year athletes in those sports. I was actually a three-year cross country runner. She was all four years. She was always into running. And she's also the same person that got me into running. And I would say she's the main reason why I am an above average runner. I'm not anywhere near good, but she's the main reason why I pushed myself to be really good at running. So as my twin, she was known for being very, very smart and very athletic. She was a very good middle school and high school athlete, and she was known to be one of the best runners in her age group, which kind of sucked for me because I was a nonchalant, non-trying, very below average runner, and I didn't start cross country until my sophomore year of high school. So I was always in her shadow, and the guy's cross country coach, I think the main reason why he wanted me on the team was because he knew my my sister Jenny was really good and he was hoping I would be too. I wasn't. So anyway, now college hits us and for the first time in 18 years, me and Jenny separated. We went to different schools for the first time ever, which is actually kind of an awesome thing. I think we had had our time together and now it was time for us to separate. And honestly, I don't think she misses me. I don't miss her too much. It's really when we have our school breaks that we're obviously spending time together and obviously having fun, but we don't miss each other and we really need that separation. So I think it's one of those things when I'm older, I'm going to realize, wow, being a twin was so cool. It's such a cool experience. I know a lot of people have come up to me and said, yo, Jake, I wish I was a twin. Like, that'd be so awesome to have a twin brother or a twin sister. And to be honest, I don't give it enough. I don't give it enough credit as, it, as is due. I think being a twin has been absolutely awesome. You know, it's not as rare as people think. I think it's like one in every 70 births are actually twin or multiple births. So it's not too rare anymore. It's becoming more and more common, but still it's so cool. And for those of you guys who have brothers and sisters out there, it's very similar to having brothers and sisters. It's just kind of weird because I can relate to Jenny on so many different levels because she's in my same age group. So that's the only difference is she's always there for me and I'm always there for her. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed another Christmas break video. As always, live, love, laugh a lot. I'll see you all next time. Leave a comment down below what videos you guys want to see next. And remember, I like you. Goodbye.